see me hello hello everybody it says that we are streaming live on facebook i'm looking right now royal funky junk is live yes awesome holy cannoli that was easy <laughs> you did good first time for everything right <laughs> we are live all right i am doing some sharing me too let me get that done real quick how is everybody not, tonight? We are not coming up as gallery view, which I don't understand why, because I have it on gallery view. So weird. Huh. Well, we're on and we're on time. That's all that counts, right? That's right. Figure out how to get that so we can all um, so we can all do that. I don't understand why I can't do that. Hello, friends. How are you? Hello, everybody. It won't let me share to my uh, studio page. What do you? It what won't do you be there, Debbie. What's you might on? have to just copy and paste it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, copy and paste the link at the bottom. I wonder why we can. I really want to get that changed, Chris. We have to figure that out on how to get it. I can see it on six people on my screen. But for some reason, when we stream it, it's coming up as um, just what it needs to be all six. Hello, everybody. Guys, everybody. We'll figure it out. We've got almost 400 people already. Yay. Yay. That's awesome. Amazing. Hello, Miss K. Happy Dean, Yvonne, Sandra, Brenda, Vicky, Cindy. Hey, guys. Hello, hello framers. Hello, hello, everybody. Okay. So, so we're falling in with love tonight. Or we're falling in with love. You're so funny. <laughs> we're falling in love with fall tonight, oh, y'all. That's right. Is everybody ready for fall? Oh yeah. gosh. Yes. So I'm ready for the cool, crisp nights. <laughs> You all get we those in Arizona, don't you, Debbie? What's that? A cool <laughs> night in the fall? Oh, I'm, we're living for that moment. Seriously, living for it. Two it's 102 today. Wow. Oh, my God. It was 82 here in Ohio today. Oh, 82 here is spring, and we're all, like, out there so happy. <laughs> 102 is hot. I'm no. ready for fall. I'm ready for, like, sweaters and boots and all that. Yeah, me too. Boots for sure. And our pool today, the pool pump stopped working. So it's going to be any oh. second before my pool starts turning green. Oh, so. no. Okay. So they're saying that we're all jumping back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Don't know why. I have it set to gallery view. And I. But see, at least you get to see more. I don't understand why it doesn't stream to gallery view. I'm even looking through settings, but. I, it's huh. the strangest thing. Okay. We, we're we just going to have to live with it. Yeah. So I don't know any other way to change it. We're out of practice. If we said, yeah, y'all, we, we've been going, like we had a summer. What were we thinking? <laughs> yeah. Debbie, we had to give Debbie time to get engaged. I had to get yeah. engaged. I had to burn my fingers off. Yes, I had lots to do. It was a busy summer. There was no way we could do it last month. We were all traveling oh. and it was too crazy. No. Jane no. has been moving. Beth was moving. Justin was back and forth and doing his big celebrity events. Oh, yeah, right. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you have been kind of a celebrity, Justin. You really he, are. Oh, yeah. Man. He's like jumping from celebrity event to celebrity event, isn't he? And look at us. The rest of us are just like, mm -mm. Going to <laughs> just wanting a little nibble of that pie. Something, you know? just a little recognition somewhere. <laughs> What's your shirt say, Debbie? It says the best is yet to be. Amen. There you go. There you go. I'm hopeful. Some people like it better. Some people like it like this better. So that's good. 
Some people like it like this. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm seeing the like projects better. I keep trying to go into the settings and it's so weird because I have it set for speaker for gallery view, but I don't understand why it won't stream it like that. Somebody said you all know fucking technology. So you're yeah. lucky I got it. AJ, AJ Creation said, how about ending the live? Okay, so let us tell you, we, from what Kathy sees on her screen, she sees us all together. I see us all together. We don't know why when we stream it to Facebook, it switches it to speaker mode. Yeah. I don't know. We wish we knew, but we don't. One of these days we'll figure it out because it used to be all six of us. I know. I don't know. I can't figure it, was, it out. And then they updated the app. Why do they have to do that? They mm -hmm. think they're making things better. They update it and it messes it all up. When something's working good, that's aggravating. Yeah. You know? And even when I was like setting up the meeting, I put like I went through like advanced settings and did all that. Nothing about, you know any of that. So I just thought, oh my God, here, I'm in, I'm in gallery view. This should be golden, but no. There are several people that like it better. They're saying we can see each person better. There are people. So, and there's some people that say they're getting dizzy. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, not funny. Ha ha. Just funny. Like ironic. Um, here's the other thing that is hard about zoom is if you buy a new laptop, uh, and then you try and log on to zoom and you don't remember your password because oh. you're, you know, menopausal and you have no idea what your password is. And I had to bring out my janky computer from, you know, 1940 to that's what I'm on tonight. Surprised I can even see anything. That's oh my so goodness. Well, okay. We just have to make sure that we talk separately. So it's not, we're not making people sick. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna make. All right, let's hear it people. I picked this up. Now this is, I brought something else to make because I knew that we were doing Sparkle 6. But when I was at Market, that's where I am right now. I'm in Dallas. I'm at Market. And um, while I was at Market, these purses, and we know these are really popular purses because football games, concerts, things like that, a lot of places require you to have a see-through bag so that you they can see that you're not carrying anything in that you shouldn't be. So I saw these bags. I thought they were so cute. I am actually, I, I did buy the bag and I thought, oh, I brought transfers. And so I have kind of some fall transfers. They are IOD transfers. My girlfriend, my sweet friend, Mara with Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. She has this in her shop. And uh, I think I'm gonna do transfers on the plastic. So make a little fall back. I love, I love that. it. And that, um, my friend Lexi Grenzer was actually the artist who did that entire design book. Very cool. Well, well yeah. she's I'm gonna be a cool person because she has all these mushrooms in here. And anyone who knows me knows I love mushrooms. Yeah, she is very cool. She, I commissioned her to do a, a special doll for my granddaughter when she was born and we still have it. So not only did she send me the doll, she sent me her artist sketch of the doll, which was huge for me, like to have the very artist cool. sketch and the doll. So now if anybody gets a giveaway for me and you need an artist sketch, I'll be happy to sketch it out on a post-it note, send it along. <laughs> I'm doing a doormat. Believe it or not, I know a lot of you have said, I like your picture. It's a doormat. So I'm just going to, it's an inexpensive doormat from Country Door, but you can get these inexpensive doormats anywhere, literally any and everywhere for about $9. And I'm going to just take it up a notch and do some shock black and white check. <laughs> Love it. Beth, what are you doing? I'm going to be doing a burlap door hanger, of course. You guys probably figured as going to be something burlap, but I'm going to do a burlap door hanger. I'm going to make an acorn. Oh, oh that sounds something good. Something simple. 
I took my burlap and I took Mod Podge and put all over my burlap. I purchased my burlap at Walmart. It was $9 for, I believe, two yards. And I'm using a fourth or a, a half of a yard. And um, I took Mod Podge and put it on both sides because I have two layers here. I, I had, I'll be cutting two layers front and back. And what I did was I took it on like and put it on like a skirt hanger and hung it outside to dry. And when you bring it in and you uh, start painting it, your paint will stick to it better and it won't go through the burlap because you have the Mod Podge over the top of it. It also stiffens the burlap. That's a great idea. I didn't, I didn't even think to do that when you're doing burlap like that. Yeah, it's a good idea. I can kind of show you one that I've done already. Let me show you guys quick so you know what I'm doing. This will just give you an idea. Uh, Justin said, I did on that for Christmas in July. I, did this one. On. I didn't think that. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it. Is that flat? That's my burlap, y'all. I love my burlap. What's the back look like? Is it flat? It's just, no, it's it's puffy. See? I stuffed oh, that it. flipping awesome. I love that. I love that. But that's what I do. I love burlap, you guys. I love it. Justin, what are you doing? Awesome. Um, I have a, can y'all hear me? I always have to, I don't know why when I do a Zoom, I have issues. But I had this old ratty rug. Can y'all see it? Oh, there I am. Okay. So I have this old ratty rug, and it's kind of on its last leg. So I'm going to make a little picture on canvas, uh, cut out a pumpkin, and then I'm going to, if I have time, I have five signs lined up. So I'm just going to go, <laughs> going to see how many fall signs I can get done. Uh, I have garden flags and pillowcases and all kinds of stuff I'm going to be putting on canvas. So, oh, wow. Yeah, Justin's been in here for like till midnight, you know. <laughs> He's on for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm drinking a bang energy drink. I don't mean to be tired. We, we, we got, that's embarrassing. Gosh. <laughs> I'm tired all day long. I'll admit it. I laid in bed all day long and didn't do it. Gosh darn. Oh, uh, my goodness. <laughs> Shana, what are you doing? I am going to take a, an old, just an old plain Jane flower vase. I'm going to paint it. I have no idea what colors or anything. We'll figure it out. And, but then I went to the garden because I am at the farmhouse. As you can tell, the lighting is kind of bad back here, but we'll get it going. Uh, but we're going to be adding some of our flowers that we grew in the, in the garden. So we're going to make us a centerpiece. We've got our, got our, um, oh, fooey. What do we got? Oh, teddy bear sunflowers. They look like a, and then we have a few coxcombs that are starting to bloom. And then we have our brown, which is hard to see in this line, brown sunflowers and some black sunflowers. And then a little bit of some haze at the top. So mm -hmm. we'll put it all. I am obsessed with those teddy bear sunflowers. Well, I have tons of them this year. So I will have seed for these this year. <gasps> yeah. For. I've never heard of teddy bear and I've never heard of black sunflowers. They are pretty. These, these teddy bear look almost like a mom. See, there's not a black center. They're just like a puffy sunflower, but they're gorgeous. What's the black look the like? The black, let me get you one here. It's kind of a dark, dark, dark brown. They do have an actually jet black one available. Let me see if I can get it out. It's huge. Uh -huh. But the stems are like a really dark color. Let's see how. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty. Never. I might have to shut that door. I've anyway. only seen Hobby Lobby. <laughs> this is the real thing. Y'all, oh, wait. Look at there. Some of them are already gone from the birds. But, uh, but they, and see, they still haven't, they still have the seeds attached inside. Hey, so. Shana. People yeah. are asking if you can close your door because it's beautiful, yes. but the sun is shining right in. Sure, it's a sunset. You're beautiful. You look, like an angel. you look like an angel. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know. I need, I'm going to turn this other light on. Hold it's on. Better. Uh, like I said, we're not set up. We're just thrown in here right now. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Is that better? Yeah, I'm trying to work on it. Anyway, these are so pretty. I love it. And then here's the a few of the little cox combs. They're not big yet, but we have a few. Oh. Which I'll be taking these out as I arrange it. There's a few of the cox combs. 
So, love it. Okay, well, I am making a door hanger using this little metal pumpkin from the Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to put some florals on it, some diamond dust, and I'm even going to attempt to make a bow with some buffalo check ribbon and my easy bow maker that I have yet to use. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know though. So anyway, I'm going to get started. Justin's already painting. Oh, I get this. Go, Justin, go. Justin just dives right in. I'm gonna He's got so many to do, you know. <laughs> He's going to be here all night long by himself. I'll leave the Zoom open for you, Justin. We'll leave the porch light on, Justin. Okay, bless you. Thank you. Different okay. light on. So I know it's, it's tough for everybody because you can't see what we're doing, but I think we should do like we did last time. Let's go one at a time and just kind of explain what we're doing. Do you guys feel good about that? Works for me. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. First of all, Kathy, what's going on? You have a whole new view in your room and it's so cool. What's happening? It's a hot stinking mess. Are you kidding? It, it plays off really well on TV. Usually I'm over here on my iPad, which is off to my right. What looks like, so I don't know what it looks like off to my right, but um, so yeah, I'm on my computer to do the zoom. I can't do the zoom from my iPad. So I have like the, uh, my camera or my computer right in front of me. So you're getting like a bird's eye view of what's behind me. Oh, it's, a hot okay. mess. it's a hot mess. Don't look at it. I should change my background. Oh, Save you all the agony. I like it. Okay, so right now I'm cutting out transfers and I'm going to cut them in. I'm not going to take the plastic off because as soon as you take the plastic off of a transfer and set it down where you want, it's there. Yeah. So keep the plastic on while you're trying to position where you want it to actually go. Chris, is that a new transfer from IOD? No, this is actually one for, it might have been kind of in the spring. No, it's not new though. Okay. But it looks fall. It doesn't look spring. I don't know when it came. Well, Debbie might know. Debbie, do you know when it came out? Uh, with my best friend, Lexi Grenzer. Let me think about <laughs> it. <laughs> you know, what's so funny, I've taken two classes with her. She's a really good friend of my cousin. And she is a doll. Like, I mean, I'm so impressed that, you know, nobody's asking any of us to, to make some IOD transfers. So I agree. It's huge, but I don't think it's been out that long. I bought mine from Mara. Oh, um, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. Oh, that's early. Yeah, it's not been too long. Well, I just I've, had, some I've, had, I've had mine for at least a couple months. Okay. Yeah. When I saw the mushrooms, I fell in love with it. Yeah. Have you guys have you guys seen the new IOD for Christmas? I just got it yesterday from Mara. Yeah, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for mine too. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. And I got some paint inlays. I'm really excited to try those, but she said she has to give me a quick DIY on those before I, I, I can use them. I love them. They're really, really easy. Uh, well, easy for you to say. I completely blew them on my live, so I don't know about that. Oh, you did? Uh, I blew it, but then I, you know, it was like I jumped off and fell off the balance beam, and then I came up like right really quick with a great pose at the end. I felt like at the end I pulled it out, but I I thought they were a little difficult. Okay. <laughs> love this. I loved them. I found them easy for me. I can uh, show you what I'm doing real quick. Um, if that's okay. Of course, Justin. Where's your stop sign? Sorry, I, I sprayed my uh, canvas with water and then I'm using a bright pink and then a light pink and then a till blue and then I spray it again and then I just kind of let the uh, the water do the work. So I'm kind of making like a little sunset abstract background, but you can let it run this way and then turn it upside the other way. So then it'll kind of look like kids or trees or maybe like a field on fire or something different. And then I'm also uh, mod podging 
this napkin, I'm going to do the burn method. So if y'all hear me screaming, then I'm probably, I probably got something on fire. But <laughs> putting this napkin with the little Dollar Tree harvest thing that's going to go underneath my, uh, my rug pumpkin thing that I'm making. So that's what I'm working on. <laughs> I love it. Do you know what I just realized who's missing? What? Beth, where is Randy? He's Randy. out cutting uh, pumpkins out. We're, uh, he's uh, making a uh, craft kit. Oh, right that's now. right. You did say that. I just remembered yeah. that you said yeah. that. That's who's cool. missing. He'll be back. Don't worry. He'll he'll figure it out here in a minute. He'll say, oh, wait, we were supposed to be live. Yeah. Well, Chris, Chris, why don't you talk about, why don't you tell us who's with you tonight? Silence. <laughs> did you hear that? There's nothing. Uh -oh. Crickets. Rhonda Reader and her husband are here. Y'all can see them. These are friends of our pages, guys. I think they follow all of us, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Hello, Hello Rhonda. Hey. I can't wait to see all of you in October. Whoop, whoop. Yes. Awesome. So she and her husband. Um, last time I was here in Dallas, we met for dinner, and so she reached out to me and said, would you like to meet for dinner again? And I said, yeah, I've got to do Sparkle 6. Why don't you just come over to the Airbnb, and then we'll go eat after that. So How awesome. she was like, seriously? And I was like, yes. Awesome. <laughs> so they, they were excited to come, Aww. and we're excited to have them. Absolutely. All right, y'all. I just got done diamond dusting my pumpkin. Ooh. I don't like this light though from over here. I might have to angle my uh my ring. No, light. my lighting is terrible. But we'll get there. I think you can see the white base. No, you can see how sparkly it is. Everyone's saying hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's say names. Hilarious. You can say it loud. Hello, everyone that's saying hello to me. <laughs> <laughs> so what is every what's going on? What's everybody doing this weekend? Anybody excited? Debbie, when are you getting married? You know, I, I want to know. This no, we, we, ne we haven't set a date. Did I mention I have a new ring? But we haven't set a date. Um, I mean, we will like, uh, I don't know if we'll be married before uh, October or after. I thought we were going to do it at the costume ball. Yeah, that's right. Bob Barker and I are going to do it. <laughs> um, are you guys dressing up as Bob Barker? We're thinking about it because that would be the easiest and funniest thing for us because Bill looks so much like Bob Barker. That would be hilarious. I, I think so guy. too. And I don't picture me getting him in a Fred Flintstone costume, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go with Bob Barker. <laughs> Well, he thinks he looks more like Brad Pitt, but I'm pretty sure it's closer to Bob Walter. <laughs> yeah, you could dress up as Jennifer Aniston. Oh, I totally could. Well, yeah. Well, you could just walk out in your, you know, t-shirt and jeans, <laughs> and there we have Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. yeah. Kathy, <laughs> have, have, Kathy, have you always looked like her, or is it just like recently you're getting that a lot? No, you know, it's funny. Um, since Friends first came out, before people knew Jennifer Aniston's name, I would get told, oh my God, you look just like Rachel from Friends. <laughs> and then it slowly progressed to, you look, now when everybody knew Jennifer Aniston, it was Jennifer, yeah, I get that. I, I was at the eating Mexican last night with my stepdaughter and the waitress comes up to us and she was like, oh my God, you look just like Jennifer Aniston. So she kept calling me Jennifer every time she came to the table. <laughs> you need to start signing autographs. Okay. I've done that before. That's so, too funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, this IOD that I am using is called Whispering Willow Ooh. by Lexi Grinzer. Maybe. And that is, uh, that is um, Debbie's best friend. That's right. That's exactly right. And it's, uh, Lexi, come on out. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are a mess. <laughs> Shana, share your good news. Yes. 
miss that? I'm sorry. I said, share your good news. Oh, yes. Finally, this Wednesday, we get to sign on the dotted line and mm -hmm. have just be living in the farmhouse. Thank goodness. Finally, finally. Hey. Isn't it true? Once you decide you're moving, you're just like, uh, even though you love that house forever, you're like, okay, now I'm ready to go. Like now it's time you to know, go. At first, at first, you know, it was kind of a sad deal because, you know, we've been there 20 years. We, both my kids were raised there, blah, 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 you know, and, and all at once, I mean, it was like a huge emotional roller coaster. One, we're selling the house. Two, the kids move out, both of them. So then one, another, we're empty nesters really fast. And then we're moving out of the house that we raised the whole family in. So it's like, bam, bam, you know. And then yeah. everybody graduated. We had a daughter graduate from high school, a son graduate from college. And <laughs> so it was just like, holy moly. But yeah. And then finally, once about halfway through, I was like, okay, I'm ready. I'm done. <laughs> I'm ready to be out of there. <laughs> so yes, yes, we are. We're ready, ready to start a new chapter. How exciting though. I see you got some work going on behind you, huh? Holy moly. I tell you what, it's got a lot of work to be done, but that's okay. That's okay. We're and I love that the first thing you did when you got to your new place, well, when you were transitioning, was your garden. Like you immediately, it would be like me, I can't wait to set up my craft room. Like you couldn't wait to build your garden. Yes, yes. We were excited. Well, we were expecting to sell a little bit quicker, you know, because the market was so hot. Well, I guess right when we uh, got on the markets, that's when interest rates went up a little bit. So then the market dropped. It's like, oh. So then we was driving back and forth, not only maintaining the house, both places of mowing, you know, and had, and had to maintain the garden. So by now we could have bought a lot of vegetables just in the gas money. <laughs> <laughs> it's a that farmer's market because you know the, we got lots of seeds. We're gonna have to be able to offer, you know, next spring. And we're putting up a lot of green beans and okra right now. So the only downfall is we're so swamped as I can't be, uh, I can't show up like I want to right now. So, but we're, as of September, we will be back full swing. So are you still teaching also? Oh, yes. I started my new job uh, uh, August 8th. I don't so know I'm how you do it, Shana. I can barely do it just like this. <laughs> um shana do you have like a, a a like a store where you sell all your vegetables and stuff from no we uh we we put them up for ourselves so oh, okay yeah now we we sell our seed you know, like our coxcomb and then we're going to offer the teddy bear seed this next spring the sunflower and of course we're affiliates of different seed companies but but no i mean here now that we're here at the farmhouse, my dream is to then build my, we're going to have a shop built for me and a greenhouse beside it. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're excited, but we're in a, we're in a little bitty town. My husband graduated from this little town in a class of 12. That's how little it is. Shana, is that just white paint you're using? Yes, I'm just using chalk paint on this. I'm about to get it dry so I can paint it whatever color I decide. <laughs> just so the color will go onto that glass real well. They want to know who's working on the LV bags. It's 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 not an. I tried to cover that up. It's not an LV bag, guys. It's an eight by eight notepad. Thanks. Uh, where'd you get that number? Um, market. Love it. She gets all the good stuff at market. I know. Uh, Chris, let me say, I bought some stuff from your Velvet Boutique. I bought some sparkly stuff for our sparkle retreat and uh, everything came and it was better than expected. And honestly, everything fit me perfect. So I was, Yay! Cool. Yeah. I'm so glad. Yeah. Cause I have a, a weird body for like, just trying on clothes without, you know, like without trying them on. Tabby, I have seen you. You do not. You've never seen me naked, Chris, and you never will. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that too quickly. You never know what, what might happen at the sparkle retreat. <laughs> oh boy, we're going to sell some tickets tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, now people are wanting a refund. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're wanting to see when you get to your bow, they want to see you making your bow. Okay. I'm making my bow right now. Okay well, they, okay, well then talk so people can see you because they want to see how you're doing it. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm totally going by memory. I'm taking my ribbon and I'm just stuffing it through these little guides. And I'm measuring out. I started out at seven inches and I took my next loop down to six and then five and then four. And I'm just working my way down. And then I have no idea where to go from here. I think then I end it with one big loop, right? I don't know, people. I'm not a bow maker, y'all. Um, let's see. Let me see. How do you finish it? So I got my final loops going in right here. And then how do you finish it with the sink with this? Oh, I don't need a center loop. All right, so I'm good. Now I know what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna finish it with the tail. And I th and then you just put some, you put this, this great, this is great. The easy bow maker, who has one of these things? I do. I have one. Uh, Y'all, it's so funny that you're using that one because I just, um, demoed it on my page the other night because I just received from the company um I've been in talks with Leah from the company who is the originator of the bow maker and she just sent me the pro what is that look she signed it I didn't even realize she signed it um Okay, that's cool and all, but I know Lexi Grenzer still, so. <laughs> where's, where's, her, where's her note to you? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll get it in a minute. You guys just wait. I want to see it. It's in my daughter's. It's for my granddaughter. No, but these, uh, these are the most amazing bow makers. And now they've made a really big one. So y'all are going to see some really fun, great, big, huge, giant Christmas ball bows. I almost said giant balls. I, 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 I was like, oh my God, she almost said giant balls. I did. I almost said that. <laughs> wants to know what the name of your boutique is. I, got, I, I got thrown off of uh, a live this week for saying um, it starts with an L. <laughs> There's a B-I-D in the middle and it ends with a D-O. So, uh -huh. oh. what? It rhymes with Ibido. <laughs> uh, really? yeah, I got thrown off for the second I said it, I got kicked off. What did it say? Uh, they said inappropriate, like against community standards. No kidding. But do you know, I say dingle balls every time I have a chance. So oh. I've never gotten kicked off for that. That's so bizarre. I know. Oh, well, people here on Facebook, they some there's some videos where they say the F word and they do all this yes. stuff. And it's like, seriously, that's not against community standards. I know. I'm gonna ask you guys, the creators, any creators out there, I recently got in contact, emailed from the real Facebook. Okay. And they gave me. I was selected. I don't know how it all works, but I have my own Facebook account manager. We Ooh. meet once a month. We go, oh, I have her email. We talk. She helps me figure out stuff. We had a meeting last week. We're meeting next month. Oh, cool. um, if you guys get that email. Just make sure that, you know, anytime I've been getting a crap ton of them on Facebook lately too, about like, um, uh, your page is being taken down, but it's like outlook.com. So if you get an email, it has to be like facefb.com, but it was legit. And um, we talked on the phone. So it's like my own account manager that helps me like figure out stuff. And, and we get, I get, I think it's over the next four months till the end of the year. Is that that leaders program I have? It's I called have a, a program. partnership, Facebook partnership program or something okay. like that. I want to see I got that. interviewed by their leaders program deal. Uh, People are asking Beth, what are you doing? What are you making? Well, yeah. Beth. Beth. What's going on? People are asking what you're doing. 
I'm making She's a making hit. And ever. Her, y'all. I'm painting. I'm painting away. Good, so how girl. did you cut that out, Beth? Like, talk to me, Goose. How did I cut it out? I t- okay, what I did Hi, was guys. Randy bought me some chalk pencils at the Hobby Lobby. There is just a pencil that has chalk in it. And what I do is I draw it an outline of what I'm doing onto my burlap. I just freehand it. And then just uh, take my scissors, cut it out. And then I will paint it once I get it cut out. I only cut one the front part because the back is burlap. And uh, are you stuffing that one to make it 3D and puffy? Yeah, I will stuff it. I will stuff it as soon as I'm done painting it. How do you get the edges? To, do you sew it or do you glue it? I glue it. I just I use hot that. glue. Just run around it with hot glue, and I stuff. And um, I'll probably stuff it like three fourths or. Uh, glue it three-fourths the way then I'll add my polyfill and as I go I'll just glue a little bit more and then add a little bit more until I get to the very end and then I'll just finish sealing it off and then I will uh, then I'll go back and I'll add wire to it and my bow and just will just embellish it I love that I love the one you showed us before that is so cool Donna Chris is still here in Dallas Yep, still here in Dallas. I so have you one more day. To... Oh, my hat, you guys. Let me tell you, I just restocked these in the boutique and I probably won't be getting any more for a little while. So if you are interested in this hat, it is in the link below. I'm going to put the link in here. They're fabulous looking. Yeah, it's adorable. Justin, what are you working on? They want to see what you're doing. What I'm doing? Uh, I'm just about done with the first one. So I'm going around oh, with wow. white nautical rope. And this is a little uh, pumpkin. And then I'm going to add the little harvest at the bottom, I think. I don't know if I even like it. I might save that for something else. But Dollar Tree has these little leather leaves. So I'm going to add a leather leaf and kind of a textile project. But I'm going to add some of this uh, pink moss. It's pink and brown and, you know, a little different. I think it looks fabulous. It's hard to believe that was a rug. Yeah. Just cutting little strips from the little textile project. Okay, guys. I put the link for these hats um, in the comments. They sold out really quickly the other night. And I just happened to walk in at the right time today. So you are welcome to order them there. There's lots of other LV stuff. It is vintage. It's, they're made from vintage handbags. Chris, what's the big trend this year coming? Oh, girlfriend, are you ready for this? Please, bring it, bring it The sparkle room is, is, is uh, is taking over. Let me tell you what Whoa, the it's is. it's sparkling glam. I love it. Well, it is the the big the biggest trend we are seeing is old Hollywood sequin. Oh, I love that. Um, sequin love that. crystals, feathers, feather boas around the edge of the skirts, around the cuffs of your jackets. Um, we were shocked at how much there was. Lots of sure, velvet, I'm friends lots with of me. Stars. That's all I have on my page is glam bling and feather boas. <laughs> I'm I'm in it. I know. Sure. So it's old Hollywood glam everywhere, but they're mixing it up with blue jeans and cowboy boots and um. This long, is all Kathy's dream come true right now. I it's, yes, it is. It's Shabby boho at its finest. Wow. Kathy, where where did you get your pumpkin at? Uh, my pumpkin came from. It was Hobby Lobby. It was one of those yard signs with the stakes, but I just pulled the stakes out. We love you, Lisa. Lisa Seiler said she's watching us from forty thousand feet in the air. She's um, cutting in and out. She'll have to join us later. That girl's always on the move. I know it. Traveling cool right now. She walked in my backyard for our party, and I about like peed myself because I was like, 
Lisa Siler's in my backyard. <laughs> what are you doing here? Like I had no clue. No clue. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I'm going to show you guys what I did because I know it's difficult to see what I'm doing, but look at the, how this, cute this is on the clear when you put the transfer on there. Okay. So if you, if we get enough transfers on here, it's not going to look like just a clear purse and you can see all the stuff in it. You're going to be able to see the things and then they'll be able to see the stuff inside the purse enough that they won't make you leave the event. <laughs> I'm at my kid's school where that was all they were allowed to carry was their backpacks. Yep. And I like it just like this with one cute little something on it. Just like this. I'm going to add more to this one, but it is cute with just a little bit on it. I um, do. I think that's cute. Somebody, can you, you don't see the words? Hi, I'm going to get some water to put in my vase. Oh, I can't pin it. Kathy's okay. the only one that can pin it. I'll, can pin I'll put it in there again, guys. Pin what? Uh, the Velvet Alley Boutique. Oh, yeah. But you don't have to. You don't have to. Okay. Just go ahead and put it and I'll, I'll pin it. Okay. okay. Shana, I love that vase. Where'd she go? Thank you. I'm having to text my daughter. Hold on. <laughs> I'm starting to fly in here earlier. Debbie, can you show your rug? Uh, yes, I would be happy to. So um, here's what I'm doing so far. Let me flip it over. Um, did you know you can literally just paint right over this stuff and it's got like a felt feel to it. So all I did was I took some of my white house paint that I always use the Benjamin Moore OC 117 and I painted just a couple stripes and you can see just on a few of them. This was an all blue pumpkin. So I just gave it a little bit of uh, Wow, I just marked it up right there. I gave it a little bit of green just for some fun pattern. And now I'm gonna do black checks, black and white stripes, and then black and white check again over here. And one thing I wanted to say is if you're doing black and white check on pumpkins, you've gotta curve your, um, you've gotta curve your line. So in other words, if this is coming, if this pumpkin right here, it's all, you see everything's curving. So your checks need to curve also. So just make sure that when you're, if you're doing a pumpkin, make sure your checks are curving also, because a straight isn't going to make a lot of sense. So that's all. And I'm getting all right, ready. We have, a, we have a birthday in the house. Ooh, Beth, what? Beth, they want you to sing it. Um, it's Grace Arcuria. Is that how you Grace! say it? Grace, happy birthday, sister. Oh. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my friend Grace. Happy birthday to you. God bless you, sister. Happy birthday, Grace. Happy, Happy birthday, Grace. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Justin, what you got going on over there, brother? Me? I'm starting on project number two. I'm okay. using... <laughs> don't be such an overachiever <laughs> hey girl that's a pot calling the kettle black <laughs> up with you girl uh, but uh this is a pillow case and then i've already cut it out some my podging yet i'm leaving a neutral background this one but i'm going to incorporate some florals um i spray painted some eucalyptus this teal color because i you know I think it's in. And then I have some solo wood flowers that are painted as well. And then I uh, spray painted some of this gold. So that's what I'm working on. Whew. Nice. This isn't an auction, is it? No, this is not an auction. Okay. Nope. Chris, did you happen to see any black and white checks or? Uh -huh. Debbie. Did I see your hat? This is what Debbie, Debbie wanted me to say. I'm sorry. I didn't take that prompt. Yes. <laughs> yes. In fact, 
Um, we bought multiple packs of a black and white check sweater that is beautiful. Oh, yeah. So okay. we got a couple different black and white check sweaters and we got the cutest black and white check jacket. Oh, really? Yes, you didn't see it because no, we, saw it. we saw it at the end. And my business partner was like, what do you think? And I was like, I think it's stinking cute. What do you think? And she's like, well, I would wear this. So yeah, we got that too. Um, what about a black and white checked um, jacket covered in sequins? We need one of those for the uh, sparkle event in October. I didn't see one or we would have bought it. But Kathy, I have some amazing ideas that I got from market. I'm sure I can't wait to talk to you this week. Uh, now everybody's saying it's her birthday. Uh, Lori Dawson, is it your birthday, Lori, for real? Pilot? Uh, Lori, pilot? Pilot? Uh, Kathy, you sing this time. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Not going to happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to get hate mail if I sing. Apparently, I sing when I talk because I say, hi, guys. <laughs> sing in your videos. I'm thinking, I don't sing. She sent me the nastiest email. I was like, whatever. I said, I hope that woman doesn't follow me because she's got to sing all right. the time. She probably doesn't. Oh, yeah, I can't even talk about that. Anymore. But yeah, so you many. You always stuff. say those nasty comments. Like, sometimes they bother you. Sometimes they don't. But look, we carried around for like a like a Christmas sack for a few oh weeks. I don't let them bother me they can go pound some serious salt as far as I'm concerned <laughs> like seriously you can't please everybody no I had one woman at message me, yeah, that she, she's done yeah, following me. oh yay what all right I'm starting to put stuff in my vase and guess what leaves I'm putting in as the vase in the bottom they're okra leaves <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that is genius. Okra leaves are very <laughs> pretty. I don't know if they'll hold up or not. So anyway. Oh, I don't well, even know what an okra is. What? Okra? What? You know, I don't know. It's a pickle, it. isn't it? It's a pickle, isn't it? <laughs> pickle. It's a neck pickle, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Kathy squash. What? Kathy, when you get here, I'm going to make you some fried okra that you're never going to forget. Oh. The hotel. How can we cook in the hotel? I will have you to my home. I live right there. Right, this is a corn stalk that was grown volunteer. <laughs> okra's gross. Uh, who said okra's gross? Who said that? Okra, is yeah. okra is gross. Okay. I don't Rhonda like was okra, just yeah. taken off as comment reader. <laughs> Rhonda's not allowed to read comments anymore. Uh, all right. Here's our little volunteer corn stalk that came up. In the middle. Okra's nasty. Oh, <laughs> ah, pea gravel. Really? Well, you don't uh, eat pea gravel either? Pea gravel. <laughs> yes, Mary, it can be slimy. Oh, oh it's I don't, so, I don't like if it's that. cooked right, Kathy, if it's cooked right, it's not slimy. I promise you, I wouldn't oh. feed you something that's not amazing. Yes. You won't Try telling that to Randy. <laughs> I think Randy's a picky eater. Randy's a very picky eater. I know. I've heard the discussions. My husband's a picky eater, too, so I feel your pain, Beth. Good. I'm glad somebody does. Mm -hmm. My husband was till I told him he'll eat what I cook him or he won't eat. Randy wouldn't eat. He really wouldn't. Oh, Randy, you would starve at my house. Well, well, Bruce didn't eat for a minute and then he decided he better eat. <laughs> you gotta have fried okra and right. if it's cornbread yeah. and dried, you need to try more. Yeah, if it's cooked right, it's really good. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like squash? Have you ever had squash? Fried, yes. Yes. fried green tomatoes. Ooh. I'm going to show you guys the project. I'm all done. Kathy's asking. Oh, it's so cute. Look, my bow came out halfway decent. Right. It's darling, Kathy. 
And I got it all diamond dusted, although the light over here sucks, but you can kind of get it. Oh, cute. cute. All right. That's going to go in my laundry room door. So Is everybody got I, another project and how I am to start me. Here's a good question for everybody. Do you keep all the stuff you paint or a lot of them, or do you get rid of everything? I keep a lot of it, especially the cool stuff that I think that's really not the cool stuff. <laughs> I, I, there is one thing that I regret selling. I sold it last year. It was a purple covered pumpkin with a skull on top and a hat and all these flowers. That's probably one of the ones that I was just like, damn, why did I sell that? <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm going to have to remake it. I think I'm going to have to. Yeah. Justin, what about you? Do you keep most or sell most? I sell most, but I keep a few things. And then I gift a lot to uh, friends and family, but um yeah most of my stuff winds up going to auction because my house is full of decorations right now i can't I, blake would probably uh, freak out if i started keeping stuff that's how i feel i can't keep it all even though as much as i want to well, well i kept everything for a year and then i had a big old auction because my daughter said i had to yeah i've got order uh, order <laughs> attention so i have to uh, get rid of it Justin, can you show your pumpkin? And did you paint that on yourself? Oh, no, this was a, a pillowcase. Yeah, this is, uh, the pumpkin was a cutout. I'm just going to back, this is my second one that, that we did. Justin, it also looks like you're in a new bigger space. Yeah, I've been in here for a couple months, Fran. Oh, I mean, I, I watch you all the time. I forgot. I just forgot. <laughs> I don't lie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, been, I, I didn't know no, it. She's been too busy getting engaged. Yes, I'm busy. I got stuff going on. Yeah, you've been busy. I moved from my sunroom to my dining room because we never used the dining room. So it just made sense. Well, that's awesome because I always thought your space, like I was shocked how you were able to work in yeah, a small space. It was a small area for sure. Yeah, but you were a trooper about it. Yeah, well, you know, you do what you got to do. That's right. I don't have a whole studio to myself. I wish um, I did. I mean, you don't. You don't need a huge craft room. You all you need is a kitchen table or a little bar stool or a little bar yeah, area. No, you don't. I highly disagree with that. Well, <laughs> oh God, I need a warehouse. Me too. If you craft every single day, like if you're a normal person, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I love crafting every day, but I mean, I'm just saying like most people, I mean, it's great to have a craft room, but some people might be a little bit scared that maybe they don't have the room to craft, but I mean, you don't need a whole craft room. Well, yes, in that regard, true. But I think yeah. when we're, you well, think it a business, to, yeah, you got to, you got to love to have a whole craft room. It's lovely, but you know, yeah. that's all I was trying to say. Look at my flowers so far. They're pretty. Oh, so pretty. Sheena, that's gorgeous. I love how full it is. Thank you. Well, we have something exciting happen in our business. In my studio in DAZ, my daughter joined our team. I saw that. I love all the reels she's been putting out there. Yeah. So that's been a huge blessing because, you know, we didn't have anybody young enough that really understood social media. And so to have somebody that really understands it, besides our Callie, who does like the, uh, the bulk of our stuff, but we just needed somebody to do the fun stuff. And so it's been really a good thing, but I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but as a daughter, I was like, Ooh, she's got the same kind of personality I do. And I was afraid uh -huh. of we, I thought, why was that funny to everybody? <laughs> But I was afraid we were going to kill each other. So we've survived like two weeks. We're, we're golden. We're going to be fine. I have my daughter-in-law working for me, but she just kind of handles all that. We, I don't do a whole lot of reels. Reels and me, like they don't, and I just talked to my Facebook person about that. I get really good numbers on my reels and I have never, ever gotten paid for one of them. Not one. Oh my goodness. Well, they don't pay worth a darn nowadays. Mm -mm. Not so, like whenever I first started. Like Facebook is all about reels, 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 and yet I can't like you they want you to do it. So um 
I just, you know, uh, I don't do them as, as much as I should, but you know. We're doing them more now just to show like our personalities. As oh, yours opposed, are so fun. I love it. Well, as opposed to trying to make money right now, um, eventually, of course, we'd like to, but um, yeah, because you know who we have? My 83-year-old mom, who's a riot, and she's up for anything. So she's, you know, yes. we're using her, totally using her. I love the one of the highlighter with the contouring. I laughed so <laughs> yeah. hard when I saw that. Right. I'm gonna show you something weird about the cox cones, okay? They're really cool, but look at the stems. They're flat. They're not round. They're flat. Cool are they always like that? No, because some of them will be round, some of them will be flat. They're really weird. They're funky. <laughs> Those are beautiful. They're pretty. They really are. Thank you. Beth, let me see what you got going on right now. I've been watching you um, the whole time. I know never everybody can see like I can, but flipping cool is that I love it. We're getting ready to glue it together and start stuffing. Did you paint the other side too, or no, just one side? No, just one side. Now people are saying they love them all. Yeah, everybody does. And then are you gonna seal that mat when, with what? When you I'm gonna seal it with my engine enamel. Uh, it's when I get done, I'm going to seal it with this. Uh, uh, it's called BHT engine enamel. It's our secret weapon for anything you're putting outside. And so it's water resistant. It is uh, chip resistant and it's good for up to 550 degrees. So here in Arizona, it's a necessity, but um, I'm telling you, so it's literally the gloss they put on engines. So, or the paint and stuff. So and you are and you're going to use that as a doormat, Debbie. So that'll be good to like rain, whatever. Yeah, well, I have a covered patio, but yeah, it will be. Yeah, I feel sorry for my daughter. You know, she just started college as a freshman and she's in college algebra, which she's having, uh, trying to figure it out. And she just spent two hours on her homework and it didn't save and she lost it all. <laughs> Oh, we got to say a prayer for she's her. She's texting me sure. crying. I'm so upset. You know, of course, she's a freshman. And, uh, um, so is my son. He came home today. He was exhausted. Jack's at a football game right now. Um, If Jack comes back, he's like an hour away at a football game. I'm waiting for him to call me and say, can you come pick me up? I thought <laughs> Sam was going to go watch, but Sam's like, mom, I was so tired. He had basketball practice, school all day. He's been spending a lot of time at my parents because it's so close to his school, which is good. Can you show your pumpkin again, Kathy? People are asking. Yes. It's got diamond dust all over it, so I have to be careful how I pick it up. But there it is. I diamond dusted. It had these really pretty designs, so I didn't want to cover them up with anything, but it turned out really cute. And I did good on my bow. I'm impressed with myself. Oh. Okay, what do y'all think? I think it's oh, beautiful. Shana, that's beautiful. Oh, pretty. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's terrible lighting. I'll have to get a better picture of it. How long no. will that survive, Shana? It'll survive uh, a couple weeks. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh. You can put some preservative in your water. Some people put an aspirin in their water, um, or you can buy the little packets from the forest or whatever. Do you think out. those packets work? Some people think so. I mean, I usually just put like an part of an aspirin in there, but uh, I changed mine out quite a bit. So, uh, but they're just now starting to come off. The cox combs are just now starting to show color. So, but the sunflowers are just blooming like crazy. They're all loving it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It turned out pretty. This big teddy bear is so gorgeous. It's beautiful. He is huge. Guys, we have almost a thousand people on here watching us. Awesome. Well, guys, if you would, please go and follow me. I'm a, exactly 1,000 away from 10,000. Ah, it's time, sister. I'm over nine now, girls. How, much do, you, how much do you need? 
We've got 980 people on here. Yeah, I, no, oh, you're the less than a thousand. Yes. Okay. There are 980 people here. We can almost get Shana to it if everybody goes to follow Shana. It's on, it and contain it by Shana. If everybody on here, what every one of my sparkle chicks and sisters and friends that are all watching on here, go follow Frame It and Contain It by Shayna. We can get her to, every time we do this, we get somebody somewhere. We've done it for Beth. We've done it for <laughs> Come on now, we can do this, people. Yeah, everybody yeah, go fun. follow her and share. If everyone goes to follow her and share, that means you bring more people in to follow her. We can yeah. get her there tonight. She's waiting so hard. She's had such and and she's been so busy with their home. She needs. She deserves it. Uh, well, thank you guys. I appreciate you. We have fun in there. If you love the garden, we'd love to have you. We're hoping okay. maybe in September, possibly, probably have to be October to start a private uh, group, a gardening group. Probably be October now. Yeah, I think that's a fabulous idea. Thank you. Okay, I want to show you guys really quickly so far what my little bag looks like. What my little bag looks like, y'all. Look! Yeah. I love it. Is that stiff or is that like like bendy plastic? Bendy. Bendy plastic. That looks so good. I love the mushrooms. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm putting something on the back too. Justin, they want to see your first pumpkin. First one? Okay. If you guys already follow Shayna and all of us, uh, share it out. Yes. So you, know, um, you might get some new people that don't follow anybody. So let's all get some love. That is so pretty, Justin. First one. So it was uh, just a rug. It was kind of coming apart. Instead of throwing it away, I washed it and then I just outlined it with the nautical white rope and then added a few little sprigs and moss and made it colorful. And I think pink and blue might be in this year. I'm not sure. I don't know what's in. Uh, Justin, speaking of nautical rope, Hobby Lobby, go check out your local Hobby Lobby and go back to the fabric department. Uh -huh. um, everything, they're doing a reset. So like there was an entire bolt of white nautical rope for like 20 bucks. I mean, it was huge. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes, That's go to your local Hobby Lobby and back. And it's stuff like this. Like, look what I got. I just got this the other day. All of this kind of trim, ton bolts. This bolt was $11 for all of this. Oh, wow. Yes, go, go to the back, back by the uh, where all the trim is. They have, I've got like 20 bolts of fabric that I paid two, three, four, ten, you know, twelve dollars. Oh wow. It's Shana, frame it and contain it for those that are asking. And a lot of people are saying, I'm following, I'm following. Now there's been a few oh, that said they went and checked. Some said that they went and checked and thought they were following you, and it wasn't. So go nice. back and make sure you're following. And um, if you're not, then hit that follow button. So, we need to talk about that all the time, and I try and bring it up a lot. But you guys, Facebook does not keep you on a page for some reason. You got to check them. Like, so every time you do a live with somebody, just double check and make sure it says uh, following, not follow. Right, exactly. And you know what's funny? Like, I follow so many people, but like, I follow like Barbara the Shabby Tree, but I will get her notifications like 24 hours later. And most of you guys, when I even though my notifications are on for all your live videos, it'll say, you know, Beth at Rekindle Blessings was live, not is live. Yeah. I get it like yeah. two hours later or like five hours later. Aww. Somebody wants us to state all of our <laughs> page names. Um, you want to see following on it, right? Not following. Following, yes. I'm going to pin Shana's. That's how we talk. That's how we talk. Shana's page. Yeah, you want to see the word following, not follow. If you see the word follow and you click it, that means you are going to follow. It's right. not like we're going to come to your house or anything for crying out loud. Well, I don't know. I might. 
<laughs> and guys, it don't cost anything to follow us. If you don't want to watch us, don't watch us. Just give us a follow. <laughs> That's right. Hey guys, you can also take these little signs, these little, uh, uh, I have these little garden signs and you can stick them in your uh, bouquets. I love or that. Can, I have like the peppers and squash, or you can maybe get you something and put a bow and then put a clay pot in there and put it in your bouquet like that. You could do that. Uh, but I'm gonna put some of these signs in here. I think it'd be cute. I love this. And just think in a couple of months in October, we're all going to be together. How many are excited for the big sparkle retreat in October with all six of us in person? Can't wait. Two, actually, three days, two full days, 24 7 of all of us together. Y'all, it's so close. Oh, it's getting like scary close. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Can you it's tell so everybody what we're doing so that then? maybe somebody who doesn't even know what's going on so we're having a big two actually three day but we already sold out for the vip night so it's friday and saturday october 28th and 29th in oklahoma city at the beautiful omni hotel we're having a two-day um sparkle crafting retreat with all of us at sparkle six plus terry burton from um robinson uh, Robin's Nest Painting for Profits, uh, Jen with Home Sweet Create, Debbie or, De or Dina, Dina with Design Dina. Um, we've got some awesome sponsors. We've got Floracraft, the makers of Diamond Dust sponsoring us. We've got Deco Art, Totally Dazzled. It's um, it's stencil. It's stencil. Um, we've got tons of uh, door prizes donated by uh, vintage retail therapy we have vendors that are going to be on site uh, touchstone crystal uh, would you bend um we've got randy from uh, diversified woodworkings he's a sponsor so it's going to be amazing two full days of crafting so we have nine different creators eight is it eight takeaway crafts chris uh nine 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 i thought it was eight takeaway crafts because you and jen were doing one together but we have the sparkle six one. Oh, that's right so nine takeaway crafts all big enough to small enough to fit into your suitcase and then on saturday night we're going to transform the the uh event space into a halloween costume ball uh with a nice dinner, DJ, dancing, giveaways, door prizes, and then Saturday, Friday and Saturday, and then we're also feeding everybody. So there'll be lunch and is it lunch for Friday? And then we're having a pajama party Friday night with the Sparkle Six. So it's going to be a great time. Lots of fun. So, what'd you say? I need to buy some new pajamas. I know. <laughs> I know we need all these sparkle jammies. Um, everyone, I have my costume. I'm dressing up as a pirate wench. Mike is going as um, Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, Beth and Randy, do you know your uh, costume? We're going as Laverne and Shirley. No, I, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cute. Uh, Shana, what are you coming as? Oh, you know, you never know if Tammy might show up. I was going to say, it's got to be Tammy. Uh, Justin, what about you and Miss Jim? Okay, I'm telling my secret. I thought it was a secret, but um, no, no, huh? no, it's not a secret. We're all we're all talking. Yeah, okay. tell people. We're gonna be uh, sexy, raggedy, raggedy Ann and Andy. She might Miss Jim might wear a mini skirt. <laughs> all right, uh, love, I it. love that. Awesome. I love it. And Chris, do you know yet? Chris is doing multiple costumes. Y'all, I decided I need to do a costume change probably every 20 minutes. I can't decide. Um, but as of right now, Green Acres is the place to be. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. And Debbie might be coming as Bob Barker and uh, one of the... Uh... Yeah, one of the, Bar one of the Barker girls. Uh, Andrea, we will not be going live that weekend because people are paying, um, you know, money to be there. So, um, got to keep it fair. We'll, we'll probably post pictures and whatnot, but, 
um, don't really want to be going live inside the event. So somebody asked, well, a number of people have asked, can you, could they pay to watch some things? Um, well, I, not as of right now, we don't have anything virtual right now. Okay. That's a whole other avenue. Me and Chris have to filter down, you know, mm -hmm. videography and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, but it's going to be so much fun. Okay. So I am actually layering these, um, transfers. So I'm cutting these, this one was like all one piece. I'm cutting it apart and I'm layering it. So it's like several different leaves together. Okay, I love that. Done. I think I have that transfer. Uh, yeah, I love this transfer. Yes, I did show yours. I did pin Shana's uh, page into the uh, comments. I pinned it. Can anyone see what Shana's page number is now? How many people she needs now? Because uh, I know 900 of these people went and checked. So, oh, thank you all. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, um, Justin, can you show your pumpkin? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, that's pretty, Debbie. They can they can let me know yes or no without a word. So this is um, this one. And then I was thinking about adding this leather, uh, this leather gather. Should our leather gather letters? What do y'all think? No. It's so pretty like that. This may be I love it like that. Okay. Debbie, yeah. your rug is fabulous. Okay, yep. so I did finish. So basically I just used all acrylic paint, you guys, and I used my pencil. Uh, the pencil eraser to make the polka dots. And I did a little bit of white highlight on everything to pull it all together. Because if you didn't, you would have some that are painted and then the others that aren't and it would not flow as well. So, uh, but this will last, I'm gonna spray it with the uh, engine enamel. It'll make it uh, kind of a little bit shiny, not too shiny. And then, um, I mean, it'll last. So these, this came from Country Door and I think it was $19.99 and I think it was on sale. But you can find these little cheap things. Home Depot has some, uh, Hobby Lobby has some, just I bet Dollar General even has some of these, but you don't have to leave anything the way it is. Do this and you can also do it on fall placemats and make a beautiful little fall, you know, table, table gathering. So. Um, Debbie, when you use that engine enamel, um, when you use that engine enamel, uh, do you just spray it? Like how many coats do you give it? Uh, I always give it two. So this is what it looks like. Uh, VHT engine enamel. And um, I will do two coats. So I'll do a coat and then I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour and then I'll do another coat. And if I bring it out next year, then I would do another coat next year and re reseal it next year. So, um, but it, uh, honestly, you guys, it works great. And I always feel like for, you know, $9.99 or $12, if I get a whole season out of it, I'd be thrilled. So, and if I got two seasons, even better. They're all loving it. Good. All good. Good. It's super easy, you guys, you, and everybody could do it. I love that. Beautiful. Handle. How is it possible, Kathy, that we're done at 10 after 6? Well, 10 after 6, my time. 9 15 here. Uh, Sam wants to say hi to everybody. You're on this camera now. You have to win. Oh. Hello, hi. Sam. Hello, Sam. Hi, hi Sam. Hi. It, don't worry. It's just 976 of our closest friends. <laughs> oh, wait, we're on there too. That's crazy. That's I'm watching it on there, but we're recording from here. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's confused. He's like, what the hell is it going um, on in here with all these multiple cameras? <laughs> why is that one frozen? I don't know. There it goes. Oh, that's delayed. Wow. It's a big delay. Yeah. Is it yours or is it? It's just, I think, streaming because we're streaming from Zoom. Sam, um, how was your first week of college? It's not over yet. I have practice tomorrow morning. <laughs> So 
then it then it will be over. But it's it was pretty good. Um, I feel like I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Uh, I like all my teammates. Um, they're all pre- they're all pretty cool. I'm very accepting and welcoming. Not what I had to deal with in high school. So nice. Um, okay. Now, what about the education part of it? <laughs> <laughs> the classes were the classes are fun. I mean, they're it's pretty chill. The max cla- the max classes I have um, are two, maybe three. One day. I think Wednesday is my only day I have three classes, but every other day is two. And then Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are eight to eight fifty, and then ten to ten fifty, and then I'm off the rest of the day. And then I have practice and like study tables and um, just like shoot around weightlifting, um, games. Tuesdays and Thursdays are twelve thirty. I think the one or no twelve thirty to like one forty five. That's not too bad. And then um two to three fifteen. So I have to miss some day I have to miss some practices on Tuesdays and Thursdays just just because I have class, but that's also excused for the, from them. I just have to go in after and practice by myself. So that's all right. Yeah. So and luckily his college is like 45 minutes away from our house, but it's only five minutes from my parents. So he's been spending a lot of time at my parents and spending the night there when he's got to be at class early, which is nice. Yes. Oh, that's kind of like how mine was set up. My son went to college in my hometown. Yeah, mm-hmm. it makes yeah. it nice. Then, you know, you're saving some money <laughs> not having them live on ca- campus, but at least I know my mom and dad are right down the street. So I like And that. the food's really good, too. I thought I was going to, I didn't think it was going to be that good, but it's, it's pretty good. And yeah. Sam, you're not missing having like the college experience of living in a dorm and being there every day? Um, I mean, it does suck. Uh, when I see my friends like out just like kind of strolling and just like you know hanging out together but they don't really do that I mean we see each other every day anyways so it's yeah it's only really the weekends like I don't I don't be I don't really think I miss that anyways because we don't the teams the team doesn't really do anything I I would say we're all kind of just together worried anyway. about you worried about playing basketball and we're not allowed to really our NCAA rules and regulations restrict us it's not like he's that far away he can hang out uh, there every day yeah, if I, if I yeah. Him, like, soccer game like, yeah for, like, my parents day, like, are right down he could yeah. spend all week at my parents and you know go there every well day, between like, between class and practice and games you're not gonna have time for much anyway exactly yeah. so but I was uh, telling my mom if it, if it gets like too stressful I might just, I might like, I might have to think of something living wise happy yeah. Does that call it so Sam, your college does it require freshmen to be living in the dorms their first year? Well, no. since my college is such a small call, it's not really it's a college, not a university. We don't really have rules like that. There's so. only like three thousand kids that go there. It's no, nine hundred. Nine hundred kids go there. So it's smaller okay. campus, but it um and the fact that um his dad, his dad lives next door to my parents, so his dad's in the same city, so he doesn't have to live on campus, no because he's within so much even here at our house it's it's like within what 20 miles or something so it's a he's got that Uh thing that works out nicely that works out nicely you save a lot of money that way Saves a lot of money and then not only that my parents are right down the road so if it's snowing or whatever he can you know Mm -hmm. um stay at my parents i will most likely probably live there next year though yeah because um after I hit the lottery, you know, so guys go watch all of our videos, make us all, you know, <laughs> help me pay for my apartment. <laughs> yeah. I'm still t- paying for two in college at the same time. So. Me too. I have two in college now. Yeah. But I'm, my opinion about college, I don't really get why. I mean, I, I understand going to a big college and it's like, you know, it's the Ohio state degree or it's like a Stanford degree, but honestly you could go to colleges as small with 900 yeah. kids. It just, because education and not not have to pay ninety thousand and have yep. hundred thousand dollars in student and debt. And you know what's funny? He'll home. walk away with some student debt. But what I like about Lake Erie is that, like, I know he's a lot my like career, me. Yeah, my career development teacher can stick he's, around like for as long. He's as gonna time. get smaller classrooms, which he needs. That he's you know that smaller mm-hmm. one. It's more one on one, more intimate. So I think for some kids, you know, my youngest, he's all about OSU. He wants to go to a huge university, and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> so it just depends on who you are I'm the type of person I never would have gone to a big college I never would have lived in a dorm with somebody I didn't know that would not happen <laughs> there's no way I need my own space so 
but I'm glad that they're there and he can do that. Justin, what you got? You on project number three now, my brother? Well, I, I don't want to uh, get started on another one and then everybody be done. So I think I'm going to go with y'all. <laughs> so I've got done. <laughs> He's really overachieving over there. Hey, oh, I did project number two. I did this. I, I bought the projects that you've done. Okay, I'm doing my finishing touch on mine. Oh, yeah, coin wallet. Did you hear? Did you hear Rhonda, Justin? They want to see your projects again. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Oh gosh. All right. All right. It was nice talking to you guys. I gotta go to bed. I practice at seven thirty in the morning tomorrow, so I have to leave here. I have to get up at six. So. Bye. 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 Bye.
where I was literally two minutes from everything. I could walk to Hobby Lobby. I could almost walk to Michael's. I mean, I was in the middle of everything. And now we're way out and I'm about 20 miles from anything. And I stay home a lot and I spend my money on Amazon instead of <laughs> craft stores. I do. I mean, I'm an online shopper. I, I, now that I'm away, I kept saying, I don't want to go away from, I'm used to having all this. Now I don't want to go back there. So I think it's interesting how everything changes. Beth, people are asking to see yours. Yeah. Yes. Hang on just a minute, guys. I'm almost done. Hang on. Yeah. Okay, I'll show mine while she finishes hers. Hey, ladies, I'm going to have to run off. My daughter is texting me about her diabetes stuff. Okay, um, Kena. So if you don't mind, um, her Dexcon is ripped off, so I need to check on her. Love uh, you, sister. Bye, so, Shana. So if you don't mind, guys, Bye, I'm going to go ahead and get off. But thank you okay. all. I appreciate you. I hope you did come and follow me. Somebody uh, find out where Shana's numbers are so we know. I'll look right now. All right, okay. Shana, take care. Prayers to you, Thank sister. Thank you. Love y'all. Prayers to you, sister. So much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay, Shana. We're about done anyway. All right. Bye bye. Okay. I, so I want to show you guys. This is my little clear bag. Got the little crown here. This is all from that one thing, uh, one transfer. Really Are you going to feel that, Chris? I think that I'm going to go ahead and seal it with the pigment infuser. I think it'll seal it well. Tell me about pigment infuser. I don't know what that is. Oh, girl. It girl. is a posh chalk product. Okay. And when it dries, it dries really hard. Um, it's all weather. It is, um, um, it, I use it as a Mod Podge substitute so i use it as a decoupage medium i love it love it so i use it as a decoupage medium and then i use it as a top coat i use it to um posh chalk has powdered pigments that are so intense they look like liquid gold so, but think of it's copper silver gold several different golds a rose a red a blue a green and you mix those powder pigments in with the infuser and it makes this you can make a paste mm -hmm. where you can put it on thick or it makes it like liquid gold and it paints on you paint it onto things it is such a multi-use product here's I need, to, I need to try that where can we all get it would you bend? Uh, yeah would you bend um so, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Debbie, I'll send you a little sample of it. Okay. That'd be awesome. And I'll do it on my, I'll do it on a live and then everybody can see what they think. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll send you a sample over. Thank you. Yep. That's uh, awesome. Where'd you get yeah. your purse at? I got the purse at market, y'all. I got the purse at market. I paid $28 for it. Very they're cute. expensive. They're not cheap, but they're nice quality. And I've actually seen those like at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but they were bigger. Mm -hmm. They were like backpacks. Yes. Yeah. So when you're at market, you can at market. You don't have to just order. You can buy and take. Also, they have a yeah. They have a cash and carry area that um, you can go in and purchase and take it with you. But almost everything you have to order. You we can only go to the market with Chris. I would love to. Me too. Yeah. It would be fun. Did y'all see my uh, tinsel in my hair? I've mm -hmm. had that before. I love that. I love that. <laughs> they were doing it. So when you go to market, they do all kinds of fun stuff for you. because, it's, And if you're what they call a star buyer, we haven't figured out what we've done to become star buyers yet, but we're star buyers. So we get invited to these little special parties and to so go cool. meet designers. And yesterday they took us in and they threaded our eyebrows and they put tinsel in our hair and they gave us tattoos and they gave us lots of champagne and wine. And so like my kind of place. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. That's awesome. And I love having my uh, eyebrows threaded. 
oh, I've never had it done. I will oh. never do anything different again. I agree. I um, love having it done. The only thing is because I have vertigo, I have to have my head back so far. So that's the only thing that bothers me. But the first time they did it and she wrapped her fingers with like thread, I was like, what are we doing here? And I thought, I'm not going to survive. I'm not going to survive this 10 minutes. And then it just feels good after a while. It's Ms. amazing. Dina's Hello, Dina. How are you, sister? Oh, hi, Dina. Hi, Beth, Dina. Beth, everybody is really wondering if you've been, you know, taken. So let's, we need you to talk and show your project. I'm mysterious, you guys. I just sit over here and be quiet and do my thing, and it makes them wonder what's going on. <laughs> so I'll just show you guys later on my live. Don't worry about it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> guys, here's our burlap door hanger. Oh, oh my God. Very sweet. So much. Very sweet. Hanger. That's cute. That is I so think cute. those are adorable. Thank you. You need to do that on a live and let us know and we'll send everybody over because that is adorable. I think that's something fun everybody could make. I totally it, agree. That it is, is super easy. Cool. I've already showed that one. You guys want me to show my Christmas one again? Yeah. Yes. Beth, on, where do you get your burlap from that are big pieces like that? I guys, I, well, a lot of these are feed sacks. I have a gal that is a, uh, she, she actually works on a farm and she sends me her feed sacks and I use their feed sacks. But there's my Christmas one again, you guys. Cute. I, I sold the, this last auction I had. I had an elf boot that I made that had jingle bells on it. And it was really cool. I had a jingle bell on the toe. Aww. Cute. Here are you guys. They're adorable. I love that. I think those yeah. are good. Awesome. Beth, let us, Beth, let us know when you do that. Because I think that would be a fun live that we could send everybody over to. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nobody else is doing that. So I think that's so cool. Awesome. Yeah. I'll let y'all know. Good. I think they're really cute. Oh, is that it, guys? I think so. I'll we'll hold up our items. Yeah, I have not eaten at all today, so I'm like, I'm ready to go eat. Oh. <laughs> this is mine. Okay, oh, I guess we got to take turns. I'm thinking we're all together. Oh, yeah. all right, this is mine. It's my little diamond dusted door hanger, and I will push off to the person I see next, which would be Beth. Go ahead. This is my little acorn. It's a door hanger, you guys. Made with Love burlap. It. Love it, Chris. Chris. And I did my little plastic clear bag that you can carry to concerts, college games, anything that you have to have a clear bag for, or just because it's cute. Use transfers on it. Love it. Debbie. Uh, I'm really excited about the doormats because you can take something so cheap and really make it pretty fancy schmancy. So um, I highly suggest, and it was super easy and super quick. Love it. Justin, my brother. Hello. Uh, this is what I made. It's what I made at school today. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you being here. I love that top one. I'm not going to lie. I love those rugs, the colors of that rug. I love it. Well, boho grandma. I love it. Uh, Just, I love Justin, it. can you push your, your first, the blue one? Can you pull that closer to the camera so we can see that one? Oh, sure. Can you see? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. I couldn't see it for at first. I thought it was like a pumpkin mountain and now I can see what it is. So that's cool. Love Super it. Okay. Debbie, I can see you. All I see is your rug. And I'm like, what is Debbie doing? I'm like, where are you? But there you are. <laughs> you know how short I am. Uh -huh. All right, y'all. That was a fun. It's good to be back into the swing of things. And um, I'm glad we did this. I was like literally a lazy turd all day today. So I'm glad this forced me to get up and feel human again. Yeah. Let's talk about our pages so everybody can go. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, Debbie, go ahead. Okay, Studio MDAZ. I definitely specialize in uh, black and white anything, anything that has like a McKinsey Childs or a designer look to it. Um, that's kind of what I specialize in. And my mom is always with me and she's a riot. So she's awesome. Chris. 
Uh, creating with Chris Hunter, spelled with a K. So many people do the C. Um, well, I'm an eclectic crafter. I really like to do all different kinds of things. If I love it and it brings me joy, then I'm going to make it. If I don't know how to make it, I'm going to figure out how to make it. Um, I cook, I do keto, and um, we just have lots of fun on our page. Come enjoy us. My hubby's with me quite often. You guys are awesome. Beth. Rekindle blessings. My name is Beth, and guys, I do just about anything. If you guys want to see it made, let me know. I'll find out how to make it, and I will make it. It doesn't matter what it is. Justin. Well, I mean, within reason. <laughs> right. Throw that in there, Beth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Justin. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Justin with the Crafty Brother. Oh, sorry. Uh, Justin with the Crafty Brother. I make a little bit of everything, but mostly I'm known for my gnomes. Um, I usually go live about five, six days a week. I'm in a lot of events, but um, I like making about everything. Uh, and here's, I was going to show them some of my gnomes that I just made. So we just finished this little lady. There are a couple. Um, these are steampunk gnomes, but this is a, a steampunk little little boy. Uh, we used Woodsy Band, and then he needed a girl. I was in my private group last night. They were uh, yeah, amazing. Yeah, we made this one in your private group last night. Yeah. He needed a girlfriend. She was taking too long, but that's what women do. But they're worth the wait, though, right? So I then, absolutely love it. Your aunt's gonna love those, Justin. A little busty, but he likes them like that. So, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. Um, I love. It. I absolutely love that. I, those were amazing yesterday. I love it. Love, love, love them both. I think that might be my favorite one ever, Justin. Oh. Looks like easy top. That's sweet. Thank you, Brian. Kathy, Kathy, what's your page? Kathy, Royal Funky. You're already here, so you know who I am. Royal Funky Junk. Um, I like to, I'm all about the bling and sparkle, and I love to refunk junk. Yes, refunk with an N. Okay, let me just say that out loud. <laughs> so I don't get all kinds of hate mail. Funky Junk. And um, and then we also had uh uh, Shana from Frame It and Contain It by Shana, which her link is pinned in the comments. She had to step out to take care of her daughter. So um, that was the Sparkle Six, y'all. Before we hang up, can someone go check uh, Shana's numbers? A whole I bunch just of did. Numbers. She's got 9,100. Yeah, wow. I don't see it like I used to be able to see like a more certain number, but for some reason, she must have gone over to the new page. She, yeah, she's on the new page. Oh, and y'all, Home Sweet Create is live right now, Jen. So we should all get off and go follow Home Sweet Aww, Create. She's live her. right now doing some hey. craft. Okay, so guys, here's what everyone needs to do. Get off this live. When we, when we close the live, get off the live. Go to Home Sweet Create. Everyone make a comment in her comments and say, we came from the Sparkle Six to give you a love slap. That's awesome. Let's all go give her a love I slap. I don't know if I would use the word slap though, y'all. Can you not say that? I you would not. That. I'm one of those people that would not even risk it. Well, would what would not. we, what could we say then? A okay. love tap. A love yeah. tap. There you go. A love tap. A love tap. Uh, yeah. Chris, Jessica McDonald is having some major stomach is issues tonight and wondered if you would pray for her. Absolutely I will, Jessica. Yes, let's say a prayer before we leave. Chris, it's up to you. Oh, sorry. Okay, Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight and we want to thank you. We want to thank you for our friends. We want to thank you for the community that you are allowing us to build here, the joy that we're bringing to people, the joy that the people bring to us. We want to thank you for all of that. We want to lift up our friends that need special prayers for illness. Maybe they need some emotional support. Heavenly Father, you know what everybody's needs are, and we know that you will take yes. care of them in your perfect timing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 This was a great one. It was perfect. All right, now, now, how do I end this, Chris? Because I think before I kicked this all out at the same time. Well, you should be able to um go down there to the more and be go off of the live turn off get off the live oh, stop live stream okay so let's all say goodbye i see it
Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank Bye. you for being here. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Good night. Ciao.